How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day unless your name is Alex. And right, Wicked Implement. Let's get right to it because I got a comment from bro on the screen. So I'll just show you the little class as we go. But basically, he recommended that I use the weapon for a video and I was totally okay with that until he said duality. And I honestly, I will justify why duality seems like a horrible idea, but you will see why when we get to the final boss in Heresy, which is the only boss. So here's the class and the super. We're basically going for an entirely ice and fire class, which is why I look like a horrible watered down popsicle, but it doesn't matter because we're here for a fun time. But let's put fun in quotations because I'm going to show you why duality would have been a horrendous idea. Right, if you're not one of the 16 Wicked Implement enthusiasts that have the weapon in their inventory at all times, here's basically what it does. It is a stasis scout rifle that when you repeatedly get precision hits, you basically slow, then freeze the target, and if you have the catalyst, the frozen shards track to you, and you also have demo- not demolitionist. Huh? You also have headstone when you get a kill. A precision kill, that is. And that's basically it. Right, like clockwork, as we walk into the Paris Catacombs, we have to talk about the class so that I don't get grilled in the comments because I'm not trying to get deep fried, so... Here's basically how it works. I have a George R.R. Martin Game of Thrones ice and fire stasis combination going on with the super and the abilities because I kind of wanted to keep it in the family. However, final boss is not going to see the super and if he does, it's only going to be once. I actually want to show you how bad this weapon really is because, okay, Martyr's Retribution, pretty fun. I have a envious bait and switch quote comfort solely just to flex on all my friends and all the people that don't have it because i don't, I, I don't even think i have a kill with the weapon i just have it just because it's stasis i have the super that i told you about as well as the abilities and the healing grenade but basically i have vesper and necrotic on my exotic bond now the reason why i chose to do that is because if i have necrotic i can basically spread poison to all the enemies that i shoot with like the little stasis snowball from like three feet away because the range is literally horrible right it's worse than flying a kite. It's literally not enjoyable whatsoever, but it is what it is. And then on top of that, I also have Vesper because Vesper of Radius, in my opinion, is one of the worst exotics in the entire game, considering there are way better options for Warlock. However, if you actually put it in the little bond to where I can use it with something else, maybe it'll be a little bit more worth it. So as you can see, I'm going to show you real quick, right? So I'm actually going to wait. I have it now. I'm going to use this right here. And then one rift. I have Helion. I have the thing shooting. I have the rifts doing damage. Granted, I will try to put it next to enemies so that they can also get flatlined because I actually want to see. So I might actually check after this. I kind of want to see how much damage the actual rift can do to an ogre because I am not putting that next to the boss. I'm literally going to get pulverized. I'm literally going to look like an Elden Elden Lord character as soon as they like step foot in a, new, in a fucking arena. They just get stepped on by like the fire giant or something. Not happening. So what I'm going to do is a smart thing which is basically play it safe, play it range. But what I was mentioning in the beginning is we're not going to use the heavy and we're also not going to use the rocket for final boss. We are only going to use wicked implement and prismatic if that, because I want to show you how bad the scout rifle is. The person that actually said, oh, you should do duality. Brother, you don't even know what you're saying right now. All right, chill. We got an unsuspecting victim right here. Let's AC 130 Hawkeye this man. And then let's just plop right here. The Hellion shot him once, twice. Three, oh, you motherfucker. God, I was going to say three times. Fuck. All right, whatever. He should die. No reason for him to still be there. I don't think that I actually need to be in the rift for it to shockwave. I think. Probably. Perhaps. All right, let's go. So, fuck. Fuck, dude. I, hit the, I clipped the roof. God damn it. All right, I actually got to go all the way down. Fuck. Eh, dude, this is already so scuffed. This is scuffed, dude. I'm supposed to live here and have a, like a good portfolio for heresy. What, what am I doing, bro? I'm actually doing like maintenance checks like under the rocks and stuff. Let's focus on the topic at hand, which was duality. For the bells and everything like that, the scout rifle would have been amazing. I completely agree with you. Goodbye. But the issue that I have with duality is that Kaido doesn't have near enough time for you to actually do enough damage with a scout rifle, mind you. So that's already going to be an L as it is because I'm going to be there for 15 phases because the scout rifle doesn't do nearly enough damage, which by the way, let's actually test this. That's going to clearly clip all these enemies as we make our way into Anorlanda because this area is always packed with enemies, dude, but it doesn't matter because we have the knight, you have the green knight, you have two ogres, you have all the little orange bars and all the, yep, dude, look, you got the healing, you got the heli, okay, this is actually a pretty good class. I'm, I'm getting kind of proud because the more videos that i make like this for you guys where i'm like basically yelling at a screen 
a lot of these videos actually get better and better. I'm just saying I'm putting a little bit more effort because even though I look hideous, I look like a popsicle, this class is actually not half bad, which is really, where are you going? Like, what are you doing? Where are we going? Where are you taking me? Why are you giving me a tour of your house, bro? Come on, giving me a side quest, bro. She literally said, come follow me, bro. No, stop. Okay, okay. All right, there we go. I'm not gonna get another sword for ammo because I think we just have the Shrieker. Now, again, the bells for duality, that would be fine. Kaido will be fine. Second boss will be fine. First boss, all the bosses will be fine. It would just be a colossal waste of time. And that is not even counting the fact that I have to kill the fat dudes quickly. Otherwise, I have no time to damage. And the same thing goes for, for Kaido, for the first boss, even the second, second mini boss, if you want to call them a mini boss. Now, let's do this again. Hold on, hold on do that that was pretty far that was not even in range but i don't have to be in it for I, I think i don't have to be in it for the actual shockwave to damage okay that's pretty nice whatever as we move on to the shrieker i just don't think duality would have been a good fit so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add a clips of ghost of the deep that i ran with my friends at the be at the end of this video i guess you could say so that it doesn't feel so short and kind of makes up for it because i actually have a very special video planned after this one so you guys might actually see me go into hibernation after dude i'm missing like crazy holy anyway you guys actually might see me go into hibernation after this video for like six days so mind your business if i do okay because it's because i got something cool planned now we're basically done that is oh shit hold on wait 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 wait. okay okay the fall damage will not kill me but the ads shooting fucking mortars at me will and oh speaking of hold on let's actually try something very chaotic one two and then three. Uh, oh shit, it didn't reload. Fuck. Restoration ritual. I think I never understood how to use it, which kind of made me get turned off by the weapon. Sounds pretty stupid, I know, but okay. Let's just focus on you because, oh yeah, that's the thing that I was. Can you stop? Hold on. I'm getting beamed. Stop. Hold on. Yeah, that was not going to reach. I don't even know why I thought that was going to reach. But anyway, there you go. You got clipped. So, as you can see, when I hit these precision shots, you see a strand sever burst emit from like the target's forehead. The reason why that happens as I land this trick shot, you ready? Put me in phase. Okay, I got, I, that was trash, dude. I got a hit marker with like the actual martyr's retribution, but not the rocket, that sucks. That little aspect or fragment that I was talking about, the, stays, the strand one, sorry. It's really good and it helps out a ton, but I don't know how much damage the blast itself does. I've never really been one to check, so it is what it is. Oh shit, hold on, I'm keeping this. I'm not gonna lie, boys, I am not the biggest fan of scout rifles, mainly because I think a lot of them are very trash and do not deserve the exotic spot. For example, I think Skyburner's Oath, technically a scout rifle, very bad weapon. Not deserving of an exotic, even though it has like a cool gimmick when it shoots, but I mean, there's a lot of weapons that do that nowadays, so to actually think that it deserves an exotic, not worth it. We also have other exotic scout rifles, like say, for example, Mida Multi-Tool, trash you it shoots fast and you basically run faster and you move faster when you're holding it in your hands that's cool but realistically it's a normal scout rifle there's nothing there something like polaris lance that is way better because that actually has a built-in feature that does a good chunk of damage every what four or five bullets wicked implement i still don't know but as you can clearly see this is what i actually like about headstone i can basically make my own impromptu cover and I can also make my own impromptu C4 Claymore-esque grenades. Because look, I can get this headshot. And then, oh, there's enemies coming? All right, check this out. I can make more of them. But if I were to say, fuck it, I want to break this. Let me see if I can actually... Hold on. Dan, you can spawn a lot of them. Look at this. If you were to actually use the weapon... Oh, it's actually trapped. What the fuck? Okay, that's interesting. But if you were to actually use the weapon in this particular play style, like use it as something that you could use to spawn bombs basically like ice cold bombs bro probably you could probably finagle and get away with making a little cheeky class for grandmasters i think the fragment itself really helps the weapon i think the fact that it just slows and freezes is really good but i don't necessarily think scout rifles are in a good spot necessarily i don't think it's a dungeon we all know heresy is not a difficult dungeon it's like a halfway middle of the road type of dungeon but Again, like I said, there's not a lot of scout rifles that we could really say are in the top bracket. Now, there's a couple, and I actually have one for next video that you guys are going to see that I'm actually going to enjoy to use. So let's actually use a little bit more of the abilities because, again, I don't really want to use the heavy. I might use it for, like, the knights and stuff, of course, but for the most part, I want to try to keep it in the stasis family. 
I don't necessarily think the weapon has a lot of things going for it. Now, the actual projectiles tracking you, I don't know the exact um, how many meters, how many feet, how many whatever kilometers. If you're not American and that pisses you off, I don't know. Like, I don't know how long or how far away the actual shards track. So it is what it is. So let's actually focus on one thing. And that is, okay, that's kind of underwhelming. I, I don't even know why I expected the actual thing to like track to the next enemy and keep freezing bad on my part anyway so all my healing basically comes from the actual gl because of heal clip which is really good again the heavy i'm not basically using my melees they're basically carrying me through the night and then yeah that's basically it again very interesting interesting class composition um i do wish the super was a little bit more oh hi i feel like he's gonna beam me dude and i don't have any healing i don't have anything that i can really use i only have a rift but it's gonna be Fuck, why are you still shooting? No, 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 no. I'm dead. Yep, nope. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, dude. And now the old wizards are still. Why the fuck are. <laughs> oh, dude. Why are y'all here? I'm actually gonna have to off again. Fuck. Okay. It doesn't matter. You know what? Take me. Like the ocean, take me, dude. It does not matter. Hurry. There we go. All right. Maybe now we can actually start and continue the dungeon. Bop. There we go. All right. Let's actually chuck that here. I, ch I thought of chucking it at the actual enemy. But I don't think that would have been worth it. So let's deploy this so I don't die. And yeah, no, that blast, it does nothing. I feel like it affects more of the enemies that are around rather than the actual target, which is kind of a shame. But I don't know, because I just killed them and like nothing spawned from, I don't know. That's, I don't really think that aspect is really all that worth it or fragment either or whatever it's called. Considering, again, nothing was next to him. But let's see if now that they're going to spawn in the middle. Let's see if we can actually put to the test what I was talking about earlier of like freezing and getting a headshot. So, oh shit, what the fuck? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. All right, number one, I was correct. That is a shit ton of damage because it usually takes like a heavy eager edge and like two light attacks to kill this dude. And one crystal was all that enough, was enough to actually kill him. Now, granted, there was a bunch of enemies nearby. There was Cursed Thrall nearby. Um, I don't know if he glitched into a wall. I don't know if the explosion stacked. I did not use anything melee, so there was no necrotic damage over time. There was none of that. It was just the raw blast. Okay, that was actually pretty good because that just kind of shows all of us that in, like, I guess you could say particular settings. I chucked the healing grenade. I thought I had enough time for prismatic. Let's see if we can do it again. Okay, it does a lot of damage all around. But it doesn't do... It wasn't enough to kill the knight this time. So I'm pretty sure... I mean, the knight isn't there. But like I'm saying... I'm I'm I have to pop this. Holy shit, dude. I'm about to die. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Over here. Bop. And he lived. Okay, yeah. This super is not good. I, I'm telling you, bro. It is not good if they can survive that. Okay. As we were moving along... At, can you get out of the way? Thank you. There we go. I got to plop this rift very quickly in a second. But before I do um yeah i would say that that's pretty fair because if there's a lot of enemies and the damage can keep spreading and you can get orbs and super energy and all that sure it's good and for a gm i would say that it's also good the thing is i don't necessarily think there's a lot of instances in grand masters hold this where you can actually use that and maybe there are maybe i'm wrong but for the most part uh mm, i'm a little indifferent though i will say that one little kill really won me a lot more over with the actual weapon holy hi what are you doing all right I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Hold that. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. There we go. Okay, so now we grab this. Okay, never mind. Don't grab it. Just fucking show him your hand. Okay, up the stairs. Grab. Okay, grab the orb. Bro, what are you doing? There we go. Punch them for the necrotic. He now has stage five lung cancer. He's dead. Okay, let's see if we can replicate the one hit wonder that we did. Nope, we got him. We t Okay, so we basically took like a third of his health. Um. Okay. If I were to make Wicked Implement better, I would have to say that the fire rate needs to be the same as Symmetry. I'm almost dead. What the fuck? All right. Because if you guys... I'm trying to keep the commentary going as I actually do this. I'm so sorry if I jumble my words a little bit. But Symmetry has a little bit of a faster fire rate. If this weapon were to have that same fire rate, I think it would be more enjoyable. Because the damage... No, there's nothing there. The damage is... Oh, yeah. No, he is. What the fuck? I just missed. Okay. The damage is there and whatnot. But, eh. You know, like I said... Nothing too crazy, nothing too die for. So I'm just going to get out of here because I think I might not have enough time to actually kill and grab. So we're going to have to make work of these guys again. 
And dude, I don't want to keep wasting my rockets on that dude, but I have to. Okay. Okay. I, I could swear that that was a headshot kill, but it's okay. And again, little cheeky damage. I, again, the, the, the damage is like right there. It's like only a little bit. It's like enough to where you can't really make up your mind. And I feel like that's when this weapon is like starting to struggle. Because look, let's just get rid of him. It's like the only man that we have killed with the super twice. Let's actually get you as well so that people don't say that I'm like targeting the man. All right, there we go. So give me this, please. There we go. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know what I'm necessarily expecting or looking for for the weapon. But I, it's cool. But I don't know. Let's actually try one more thing when we actually get to the witch encounter. And that is, let's just try to be James Bond. Let's just try to be sneaky considering... I believe this is the final orb that I have to actually return to actually progress. I think maybe perhaps I don't remember. I think so. I genuinely lost track, but yeah, it's the last one. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to run over there, grab the orb. We're going to get a little bit more ammo and then we're going to James Bond the witches. And then the part that you've been waiting for, which is probably the worst one out of the entire thing so far. Granted, we haven't gotten there yet, but I just know it will. I actually have to thug it out. So over under three damage phases, I say it's going to take a three damage phases to actually kill the dude. Maybe two, probably not. I, I never, it's, stuff never goes the way I planned. So there's a high chance that it might actually be a seven phase. <laughs> probably, who knows? So, huh, very weird. I did not know you could get that just laying about. That's how late I am with like the seasonal stuff. Let's just keep going. We got stuff to do and places to be. I love how universal they made this encounter to be where you have three symbols in front of you and i goodbye i just ignore them like they're nothing because every single time that i actually try to oh there's one right here hold on hold that thought hold that thought hold that thought we got stuff to do we're gonna drop we're literally gonna hit her with a drone strike right so we're gonna do this and then we're not even gonna shoot her we're gonna go down here plop this and i'm out all right goodbye later goodbye you can keep that mess that you call a rift so it does periodic damage over time, even if I'm not in it. Is she dead? No, they're alive. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh, I understand. Okay, so you don't have to be standing in it for it to do damage, but it does take a while for it to blow up again because she was standing in it and took no damage. And I was like, wait, again, I know that that's not how she takes damage. It's like a periodical rift. But okay, so it's not when they're nearby. It's whenever the hell it wants to. So it's probably like four to five times per rift, maybe. We need to see, because I kind of used my prismatic near the end of the encounter, but there before. But I kind of need to see, as we're being sneaky through the harrow, I kind of need to see if I can succeed at actually... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. By the way, I, I, I just need to succeed at putting down more than one rift, because if I can use prismatic and put down two, three, four rift, that's good. But hold on. Okay, so that she's here. So let's take out. The oh, shit. She saw me. Okay. I was kind of hoping that we could do this all without her seeing me. Like a thief in the night type shit. Like a Haitian. But no. Apparently not. Okay, so think. Okay. Phil What's it called? Tilting? Harvest or whatever? I didn't really get to read it. It tracked. Okay. It kind of tracked. Frost armor times two. That's very interesting how it gives you two when you actually smack them with a. Okay. And then that's going to kill you. And one more. All right. So, let's see. You might be thinking, why are you not using the... I put on a sword for movement. Leave me alone, right? We, we need a desperate times call for desperate measures. What the fuck is that? The fuck does it say? I can't even read that. If you can read that, let me know. It probably says something in like Hebrew. Or not, not, not Hebrew. What the fuck is it called? Like in the hive language or whatever. Like it probably says something like the hive language. Like, I don't know. If Kevin was here. Some stupid shit. It's probably like fucking julia and kevin seventh grade love we met and kissed under this rock forever that's probably what it says it's probably some fucking stupid high school love core or something but let's see we go up here and then there's no point in actually trying to survive and thug it out because you already saw me you heard me your friends died you bro imagine the panic of being like a wizard like in this encounter and you got like a fucking you're like playing i don't know tetris like three man tetris right and like, didum, disconnected, didum, disconnected. And you're like, what the fuck? And then you just hear pitter patter, the pitter patter of guardian. We've stepped into a war with the cabal on Mars. Literally, you just hear the pitter patter of guardian and you're like, oh shit. And then you just see me. And instead of having like a, an arsenal to fuck you up, 
I just plop a rift on the floor and I'm like, this carpet that you can't see, it's gonna kill you, bro. That has to be so crazy for a witch considering they're floating, they can't even touch it. Has to suck, bro. They will never, ever, ever be able to make it to the beach. All right, over under three damage phases, we are about to find out. I say a comfortable three. I think three is going to be good. I want to have faith in the weapon. I don't want to say four or five. I think that's disrespectful, but um, pff, who knows? So let's actually kill y'all because I don't want you chasing me in the mosh pit for bowling for soup. Bowling for soup mosh pits, bro. I never thought I would actually say that. All right, whatever. And you chose to be in the furthest corner. Right, here you go. Chuck that there, deposit, bop, and then immediately we're going to do that. That was probably a, a waste. And then that, and then drop this for my safety because you are literally like 20 feet tall. And then do that, 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 that. Okay. Okay. Pretty good damage. We got to chuck another grenade soon, but I'm going to chuck it over there for placement and movement, right? Because I'd rather reposition. Okay. I said maybe prismatic will give me two to three rifts. Hell no. I only have one. Okay. I don't know why I expected to have multiple. This is actually going horribly. And that, he, oh shit, no, 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 no. Oh my God. I'm so glad I used the healing grenade instead of converting it to a stasis one. Uh, let's actually plop the super, even though I said I wasn't going to, because I just want to show you all something. Look at this, 28, 51, 1,300, 1,500. You got 507. You have random bum ass numbers across the screen, bro. Like they literally said, give them one of everything. They're not even going to notice. There's a whole bunch of stuff on the screen. They won't even care. Bro, I care because the super's ass. And I was kind of hoping that you would fall to the actual thrall explosion but you did not it seems like a four phase which is horrible considering we can clearly one phase this man and we have before but this is not good this is not good at all by any stretch of the imagination so i kind of i are right that does not do anything to you fuck okay i just wasted a rift but not really because i guess i'm surviving but it's every like what every five every six seconds that the thing pulsates I'm kind of tempted to put it in, I was tempted, I was in past tense, I was tempted to go and put a rift at the toenail for the boss, but now that I know that I only get one because Prismatic is nowhere near, doesn't have nowhere near enough recharge rate to actually give me a minimum, a second one, I don't think it's worth it. I think I'd rather play it safe, so my positioning might have to be everything. And I don't, I don't know, that super, very trash, might actually use it again because it's so soft that it's it's literally not making a dent. <laughs> it's not making a Harvey dent, dude. All right, round two, I drained my Gatorade. Let's go. I actually got my electrolytes back up. Let's actually get it going. All right, excuse me, goodbye. I needed to bait him into doing that. I am going to miss the healing grenade, but I'm going to reposition knowing what I know now. So let's actually do this there. Immediately pop this. I guess I could have popped my Rift then use Prismatic, but whatever. Time is of the essence. It does not matter now. I have like seven different things chunking him for damage. Um, I feel like Prismatic is doing more damage than the actual scout rifle. I will not lie. I feel like this thing is not keeping up to the actual standards that you thought they would. Holy fuck. God damn. All right. Relax. Relax. I know that there might be a dude behind me, so I'm just gonna... Okay. Oh, hi. Goodbye. I don't even know what he's looking for, bro. He literally looks like he's fucking... Oh my God. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. A couple more headshots. The severing blast. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna use the super. I'm actually gonna save it because there's no fucking point. Okay, I'm out. Oh man, okay, okay, okay. Opinions, opinions, opinions. Okay, the weapon, you really wanted me to use this in duality. You really thought that I was gonna go to duality and I was gonna start the video saying, yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video where we actually have fun. And then by the time I was actually gonna be like, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. That's not gonna happen, dude. I literally took my, what, my fucking cardboard desk that i had damn near strong ass cardboard punched a hole through it it's not even that strong clearly it's gonna break you really want me to do that to the glass one that i have now hell no dude kaido is not going to be the last <laughs> i refuse to have kaido be the last thing that i look at in my mind when i close my eyes before i punch not punch i'm probably gonna break my hand fucking attempt to punch my fucking like glass desk it's not gonna happen so you're getting heresy for now. Give me a better exotic, we'll do duality, but for right now, for a wicked implement, bro, no. And as we deposit the at at an Eddie candy, bop, there we go. All right, let's go. Get me out of here. There's a lot of enemies. Pop that there. There for the necrotic. Hopefully, it will actually not disappoint me. I got to drop a rift soon, but let me actually do that, and then let's slide over here. I'm going to do that. I will regret it 100%, but it is going to be a four phase, so I don't really ma think it matters. I'm not turning my back to them. I already have another grenade. I have one more melee that I'm going to shoot in a second. But first, let me get a couple more shots. I got to reload, then do that. Okay, and now 
I move over here, one more grenade, that is my last one, pop super because I don't have anything else that I can hit you with, bro, I don't want to use the weapon, okay, I'm kidding, by the way, it's good, but it's not really all this good, but then again, you, you just want me to suffer, because there is no way in hell that you would watch this video and consider using this for a boss, this is a gimmick challenge video, bro, this is not a goddamn, oh, wait, is it actually viable for damage, hell no, dude, look at this, look at this, look at this, it could have been a three phase, but the weapon is just that much of a lackluster piece of... Alright, you boys already know what time it is. Let's actually start with Prismatic once again. Dude, Prismatic is so fun. We're actually going to have to make a series that is... Can you beat every dungeon without Prismatic? Dude, imagine. It's actually getting to that point. But now, this little remaining bit of health, which... Not really much, if we're being honest. But this little remaining bit of health, you could chunk it with the weapon. But that's about as much as you could probably do. Dude, look at this. Look at this. The health, it goes down. The enemies in the way, always being annoying. But ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up Wicked Implement versus Heresy. Holy, what a boring, horrible weapon to actually use. I'm going to leave you guys with a couple of clips from Ghost of the Deep that I ran with some friends. I will see you boys later with a very good different video that I actually wanted to make for like the last two weeks now. Hope you enjoyed. Don't use this weapon. I will catch y'all later. Consider subscribing and peace out, everyone. Have a good one. Later. Do this because what the fuck not? Oh, yep. There goes four. And I'm halfway through. Where's the other ones? There we go. Oh my goodness, yo. Yeah. I can do that, it's so good. That was my personal challenge for this is don't die. Yeah, go. Oh shit. Oh, up here, okay. If I can hit my shots, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I was gonna go just up here anyways. Oh, you don't have to break her... her shield... inside the- I thought you had to break her shield inside the slot. Deep slot again for you. Where is it? There. Ah, oh, you got it nice. Is it? Oh, it's damage. It's damage. Shit.
Agreed. <laughs> I'm joking. Boss actually stayed still for I one hit. I'm for life. 60k. The ghost. I got it. I, I saw it and I knew instantly. Please give me the exotic. Wait, you got it? Oh, what well, now? I'm down. I blame, I blame Io. Io threw. How did I throw?